So that was an epic two minute <laughs> musical adventure. And um, this uh, lesson was actually a request from uh, one of the members of my uh, channel on truefire.com, Doug Monroe's Guitar Garage, if you care to check it out. And uh, I, take, I take requests from uh, the people on the channel. Also, YouTube out there in YouTube land or wherever you're seeing this, I'm always happy to uh, get suggestions for lessons. So this suggestion was, can you do a guitar arrangement and a chart for uh, the music from this TV show uh, that ran from 1960 to 1964 called Route 66? And the theme song was written by Nelson Riddle. And it um, got nominated for a Grammy in 1962. And uh, so we're going to go through it. And uh, it's a very, very interesting harmonic and melodic journey. And there's just so much to be learned from shedding uh, just this song. is is very hip. So let's jump right in. So um, <clears throat> this song really takes uh, advantage of major seven sharp 11 chords. So what on earth is that? So uh, the first chord is an F major seven sharp 11. And uh, so what it is, it's uh, the sharp 11 would be a B natural because the fourth note in an F scale is a B flat. So to have make that sharp, it would be B natural. And the song, uh, you know, the, the first melody note starts on that B on an F chord. So very interesting that the first chord is F major seven sharp 11. Now, the bass is playing a, uh, just a descending F major scale. That's all it's playing over that. But the piano uh, is playing this. And this really sounds sort of like, sounds like G7, but it's over F. So what you have to think of is that in F, uh, we have the root F, we have that sharp 11, and we have the uh, sixth D and we're hammering up and off to G. So it's very unsettling. It's a very interesting tension that, that's going on here. And um, that's how the song starts, is the bass is going, and the rhythm guitar is going. And I actually even doubled the uh, bass part with another rhythm guitar to really sort of punch it through. And um, so then from there, it goes to an F7. And so the bass changes just slightly from this to this, E flat, F, E flat, D, C. And the um, rhythm, you know, the piano, or in this case, our, our guitar, is playing these notes. So now on the F7, we're playing the flat nine, F sharp. We're playing E flat to seven. We're still playing that sharp 11 and we're hammering up to the sharp nine, flat nine. So this is some pretty advanced jazz type harmony. And that's over. So the first uh, over the F major seven sharp 11. Then over the F seven. Then we go to a B flat major seven sharp 11. And we do the same thing that we did over F. We just move it up on B flat major seven sharp 11. And then there's a, a melody that a giant melody that's played. The chord is E flat major seven sharp eleven, but I don't put a chord there because I really just want to emphasize this melody. And 
then when we get down here, this is a B flat triad with a C in the bass. And the bass is playing literally. One, five, one, five, one. And the uh, piano, again, in our case, the rhythm guitar is playing. And so if you're thinking of this as some sort of uh, C, C7 with a nine and a sus four, you know, B flat triad over C. And so we're thinking in C, we have the root C, we have the 13 A and the third, but we're hammering on and off to the fourth, getting that sus four feel. And then uh, we play our big line and we come down back to our first chord, the F major seven sharp 11, but we play this same thing over it. And what we get if you're thinking of F, this with the same notes is the fifth C, the major seven, the root, and the major third. Now we're gonna change key and basically do the whole thing again. Our key change, we're gonna go through A and B, those two chords. So this is just a little A triad. And it's that same sort of rhythmic figure. And I'm coming on and off of E and F sharp. And then going up to B triad and doing the same thing. And then the whole second part of the song, I don't do any rhythm guitar, but it's basically the same thing a whole step up. So what we're doing here is uh, G, uh, major seven, sharp 11. Da 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 dee da da da, G7. Then F major seven, sharp 11. Oh da da dee da da da, F7. And then C over D. And then ba da da. A flat back to G major seven sharp eleven. And then we have to come back to our other key, back to F, and we come through just a D flat triad and a C triad. And then we're back to the top again. Well, you know, the last the last part, which is in the same key as the first part. So it's F. F7, and then to B flat, right? And then we all play the line, and I'll go over this when I do the melody. And then this one. Ba -da -da -de -da 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 F. And then we all play this line at the end. And then we end on an F uh, six nine sharp 11. And so we have F, A, D, G, B. And that's all, that's the harmony. So, <coughs> That's a mouthful, you know? <laughs> That's a lot of stuff. It's very hip, it's very cool. And, uh, oh, I wanna show you one other bass thing. When we do that line at the end, the bass is playing, uh, if I'm reading this correctly, F, yep. That's what it's playing. So it's playing F, F sharp, G, A, B natural, C, D, C, B natural, A, G, G flat, F. Very cool. Took me a minute to transcribe all this, but uh, it was well worth it, very interesting. Okay, so now let's move on to the melody. Now, the melody for the first uh, half of the song, I play with a slide. And since I'm playing with a slide, it affects 
how I'm going to finger uh, everything because I, um, I want to try and grab things as cleanly as I can and not be sounding other strings. So I play the first part like this. The first note is B, B natural, and I'm playing it on the fourth fret on the third string. And then it's an F major arpeggio starting on C. C, F, A, then I'm still thinking of F, and this is like the six, six, five, one, a uh, three, one, and then we end on this E flat because we're on the F7 chord. Mm -hmm. Good. Then we go up to E natural and I kind of do the same thing again. Now I'm going to do a B flat triad starting on F. And then going up to the six, five, three, one, and then I'm going to play this line. And I do a, it seems like a big jump. But again, it's for the sake of playing with the slide and uh, being able to play things clearly. So when I go here, I move down to here, and now I'm gonna grab my G here, and I'm gonna play this unison line that um, everybody plays over here, and it is right there. So it's just G, F, G, F, G, F, G, F, and then again, this is over E flat, major seven, sharp 11, but check it out. So it sounds so much like F. And then finally I come to rest on C. And then I jump way up here. And I do a C arpeggio, uh, 13th uh, fret on the second string, C, and then C, E, G. Now this crazy arpeggio here, A flat, E flat, an octave lower, A flat, E flat, C, A flat, G. And that's where we come to rest. That's it. Pretty crazy. Pretty crazy. And um, yeah, that that's what he wrote. That's what we play. <laughs> okay. And so again, we're ending up on back in G again. And so it's kind of just doing like just a half step above, just basically doing A flat, seven sharp 11 stuff. Actually not. It's pretty much just A flat arpeggio. If you think of A flat, it's the root five, root five, three, one, and then to uh, G. Okay, and again, I jump around like that because I'm doing with the slide, and with the slide, it's actually very easy because it's just here, and then I'm back to there. So that's the only scary part. It's a pretty big leap, but that's it. And uh, then we go to the key change, and we're going to the new key, and so everything is up a whole step. And now this time I play actually uh, with this guitar, and I play through a Leslie simulator. And so for this part, uh, it's very similar uh, to the other part. So in this part, <clears throat> I start on C sharp. And then I just move up and I'm going to do a G arpeggio. Starting on the five, one, three, six, five, three, one, flat seven. Okay, because now we're on the G seven. I move up a half step and we're on the C major seven, sharp 11. And then I do the C major arpeggio starting on uh, G, the five, G, C, E, and then I go up to the uh, sixth, five, three, one, and I noodle around there. I'm trying to remember what I did. I think I do something like, uh, I think I do that, something like that. So what I'm doing here is 
uh, playing C and E, and then I'm playing uh, A and C on the F chord. So I'm playing like the three and five and just walking down to the next place my F chord lands. So this is F and A, and I just go down. So now I get the flat seven and the nine, I get the E flat and the G. So then here, again, I'm just going down, thinking of the F chord, and I'm playing the C and the F, and then just going down chromatically and resolving to the three and the one. And then just going down here where I have the seven and the uh, nine. So it would be like this. Something like that. I, I noodle around on, on each chord a little bit. B. Yep. And that's on the C over D. So that's a C with a D in the bass. And the note is B, the 13. And then it is a D triad. So it's D, F sharp, A. Just a B flat. Just a B flat uh, triad again. Because we're going to end up on the G major 7 sharp 11, but this time we have the 9 in the bass. Interesting. And uh, so that, that's the melody there. Then the chords change, D flat, C, and then we're back to the beginning again, back to the slide guitar, and it's the same thing. B over the F major 7 sharp 11. Right? Then up. And then same thing. Right? And then way up high. And then we do the ending on the second string in the fifth fret. And then we go down to C, same fret, next string. D. our last chord and that's the F 6 9 sharp 11 and now for that infamous last riff at the very end of the song the guitar player goes and uh, I don't know if it was Tommy Tedesco might have been and uh, again very slick so what's happening is the chord, like we said, is that F, 6, 9, sharp 11. And then uh, the guitarist is playing a, um, an E minor pentatonic scale, starting on G. Ending on C. And so if you think of F major 7, sharp 11, but you play an E minor pentatonic over that, if you think of F, you get the ninth, the major seven, the sixth, the sharp 11, the third, and the nine. So they're going. And the way that I played it was, so I'm pulling off. And then comes the F major seven, sharp 11 arpeggio. So uh, you're on C here, and then there's F, A, B, E. And that's it. Very easy. Uh. And there you go. And that's it. So, um, Make sure that you check out the chart, uh, you know, and of course, you know, listen, <laughs> listen to the track. And I, I would really suggest that you go and listen to the original also, so you could see what I copped from that and, you know, how I made it work for the guitar. And uh, there'll be a jam track, of course, with this, so you could play along, which should be a lot of fun. 
and um, there's, you know, the chart has tab and everything. So uh, regardless of how you read, you can figure it out. And plus, you know, sometimes having the tab is fun because you get to see exactly where I fingered everything, even though I encourage you, you, you know, come up with your own fingerings. It's definitely cool. And I think that that is it for this song. I hope you enjoyed it. I really, really got a kick out of uh, trying to do this. It was really a challenge for the old man. It was fun. And uh, if you do have any suggestions, uh, please, you know, let me know. You could leave them in the comments below. And uh, I pretty much try to get to everybody's request. And uh, until next time, peace. <laughs>